This is the video review of Beast Wars Transmetal Optimus Primal, and I really like this figure. It's not perfect, it has a couple flaws, but for the most part, it is a pretty fun figure. This is his Transmetal Monkey Mode. The arms are pretty good. They go around 360, in, out, rotate above the elbow, bend a little under 90 degrees at the elbow, and that's about it. Unfortunately, there's no head articulation, and the thighs can go forward, and not really back unless you bend this kibble out of the way. And then, they can go in and out, but after that, that's about it. These can bend, but they are not loose, not tight enough to hold the figure. So, it's a decent monkey mode, but I do wish it had a bit more articulation. Now, he's a transmetal figure, so he has the... Um, they're not quite vehicle modes, they're just extra bits that give them more functionality. He has that vehicle mode kind of thing. And what he does is he puts his robot mode legs together at the bottom of his uh, thighs and uh, beast mode legs like this to get a surfing board. Rotate his upper body like this and hang ten! It's kind of silly, but it has some charm to it. It's a... It's an interesting way to make a monkey fly. And one thing I do like about it is that because the uh, surfboard is made out of his legs, he can bend his upper body around it like if he, like he's keeping his balance. Like here, he it's almost like if this were a skateboard, he'd be doing leaning forward to keep his balance on a half pipe or something. So I do like that. I think it's pretty well executed, although it is somewhat silly. It, it has little wheels on it here, but it doesn't balance very well. It's, I, I think it's just fun going around like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Now transform this guy to robot mode is pretty simple. Let me take him back to monkey mode and... So what we do first is we point the toes down and then bring the lower legs around like this. Now we can stand. Then we'll rotate the lower body like this Rotate the upper arms around like this. Open up these cavities here and switch his hands around so the thumbs on the right side. I've always hated this about this transformer because it's always just kind of a pain to do it. And I, I almost never remember to do it anyway because it's such a dark plastic I never pay attention to it. Then what we'll do is we will take this backpack with these sort of side abdomen plates, bring it around like this, and then we will open this chest cavity like this, bring out his robot mode head, and push in his monkey head. Push this around, and then take this, put it onto his back like this, and then close these things over his shoulders like this. And this is his robot mode. I really like that transformation. It's pretty fun. It, it has some annoying parts and it is kind of a cheat, but I do like it. And yeah, this is robot mode. I think it looks quite nice, but what I think is strange is this looks like more of a monkey than his uh, actual monkey mode or gorilla mode or alt mode. It looks more animalistic because his chest is made out of muscles and fur stuff. That's how it's sculpted. So, I've always found that kind of strange about this figure. It's always been kind of a strange design aspect of the second form of Optimus Primal, but it's not a bad looking robot mode. The articulation is the same as last time, except now he has a turning head, which is nice. And then you get knees and a, a thigh swivel. You also get some foot articulation here, but it's um, not really that useful. You can do some stuff with it, but because the well, because the back foot can't do much, it's somewhat limited, and right now he's making a liar out of me, but... Okay, so you can do some stuff with that joint. What I was about to say is that because the you don't get any forward motion, and because on mine this is so loose, it ends up not being as useful as you would think. Okay, I stand corrected. Maybe I just have a bad memory of this. Anyway, it is a fairly nice robot mode. I do like it, and I do like this figure. I've got some small problems with him, but overall, I do recommend this figure. He is a fun figure. So yeah, that's a review. I do recommend him. I review Transformers, um, 
Dinosaurs figures, if you saw my last review, that was cool, wasn't it? Uh, Brave figures, Macross figures, uh, just a ton of stuff. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.